the correction creation. This is the lat and long of where you want that correction to happen. When you're dealing with, with a um, network style correction, it's going to need to know where you are. So in the settings, you can go down here and set a manual GGA. In your rover, it's going to send its position automatically. But in this case, I set a manual GGA position. This is only in decimal degrees. It's, a, it's, a, it's as if I want a generalized correction for my uh, job site that I'm going to be on. The, use these in this example um, and hit OK. Now, putting the data out, I can put the data out of COM port and straight into a base radio or straight into a receiver. I'll give you an example of someone that's using this successfully um, is a hydro crew who's got a laptop with a broadband card out on the boat and they pull the corrections down from this and go straight into the radio that's hooked up to their hydro gear. Other outfits are putting in the lat long of the middle of a big job site for grading and they're pushing it out through a base radio to multiple rovers on their bulldozers, etc. Machine control it goes on and on. But you can output it that way. Uh, you could output it through IP to another source, uh, another uh, thing as well. So I've got a username and password in there. I'll give you a username and password for a test uh, here in a moment. I hit start and it sends the position creates the customized correction for that location or where your rover would have been and starts streaming there in less than 10 20 seconds it's a lot of math going on in the background but it does it quite quickly what's happening on the caster end uh, over on the servers can be kind of interesting over on the caster end here's the uh, mount points and on the user end, here I am logged in, and it sent the position here, this little bit of bytes, and it's sending corrections out. So that's what's happening on the on the caster end. Uh, over on the network end, here here is the in the uh, GPS soft you know network software. Here is my location, or the location that I put in, and it's pulling a correction. Uh, based on the, the nearest six stations to it. So uh, that's that's pretty uh, handy. Hang on, uh, I had to stop there for a moment. That's what's happening on the, on the um, RTK network end, or network corrected RTK, whichever you want to call it. That's over on the server end. Great, we've got this data flowing. Now, for the for the uh, training example, I'm going to have you go and put in a username and a password of training, and the password is ntrip, n t r i p, eight six seven nine. No, um, what was that uh, that song Tommy Two Tone did? Uh, hey, Dave, what was that song Tommy Two Tone did? With the phone number eight six seven five three zero nine. Yeah. Okay. N T R I P eight six seven five three zero nine. I'm too old or too young to be having a senior or a junior senior moment here. So that's your username and password, training, and then N N T R I P eight six seven five three zero nine. Go and pick a single base mount point here. This is one for Arlington, Washington, and it's RTCM23. And when I hit it, I get corrections right away, assuming uh, my PC is connected to the Internet. Let's go look at the stream details on that. For almost every station on an RTN, the uh, RTN operators will probably set up single base option for you if you want that. Uh, why I'm using this one as an example is it's an RTCM23, which is a little archaic and a little bit big of a correction, but a, uh, a lot of the single frequency gear, a mapping grade type gear, can use that for DGPS for single base correctors as well. So that's what I've done with this one. That's pretty much it for using this tool here. I'll fire up a GNSS Surfer, which is a, a really nice 
tool but you have lots of options for putting data in and out and for RTN operators it also allows you to push a, a dummy stream or uh, a test stream to uh, test your communications to your sites but you've got options for COM ports bouncing to another in tripcaster pushing to files decoding the RTCM is really clever but a lot of the instructions are written in German and uh, that that uh, well anyhow that, that can be a lot of fun trying to figure that out or go buy a beer for a German person uh, that's the GNSS Internet Radio tool. I hope it helps you figure out how Intrip works or uh, how to relay corrections through it. Um, anyhow, that's uh, me signing off. Uh, me and Marvin, of course. Uh, happy RTNing.